I'm going to be taking a tapered blending brush and I'm going to be mixing the shades Poison and Swallow and just starting to lightly put them on the outer edges of my eye. I'm just taking it in the crease and I'm lightly just blending it in and bringing it in to the inside corner. But I'm keeping most of the color on the outer edge and the outer crease. I'm just slowly bringing it in. And I'm taking more blue than turquoise. So I'm taking more swallow than poison. I want it to be more blue. I think I want to try the Magnificent Metals Glittering Glow in the shade Diamond Dust. So first I'm going to, so that I have a good base, put the shade Safe Word again. I'm just going to take my finger and I'm just going to put it all over where I don't have the blue. I'm just going to put it right there. Wow, I can't get over how pigmented it is. Getting this glitter off of this brush is gonna be a pain in the ass, but worth it. I might just take black eyeshadow and just do a smoky look. I'm taking the Studio Makeup On The Go in Warm Up, taking the black shade, taking a angled brush, I'm gonna smoke it out. Definitely when you're doing glitter, it's smarter to do your eyes first because there's glitter all over my face right now. The black doesn't fully cover all the glitter, but that's fine. I just wanted to give it a little smoky effect. Taking the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Taking the Dolce Max Lash Volumizer Mascara on top. Before I do my other eye of mascara, I'm just going to prime my face, so I'm going to be taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and not touch my eyes with it. Just let that soak in. Now I'm going to do the other eye. Now I'm also taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Normal Primer, putting that on top. For foundation, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. This is my new favorite. Taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair, my favorite. Going to conceal and highlight with it. Taking the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Taking the Kat Von D Translucent Powder again. And going to set my whole entire face with this. Going to bronze with the Too Faced Sun Bunny Natural Bronzer. For blush, taking the e.l.f. blush palette. Going to take this dark rose shade. Just going to blend that all out again. For highlight, taking the Becca Opal Highlight. Highlight is on Going to finish the lower lash line. Just going to take Swallow, not Poison with it. And I'm just going to focus this on the outer corner. 
And I'm not going to do it as dark as I did the top. Just going to do it lightly. Going to take the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil in black and line my waterline. For a bottom mascara, going to be taking the Maybelline Lash Sensational. And for brows, going to be taking the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in Brunette. To set my brows, where are you at? Taking the Perfect Arch Clear Brow Gel. For lips today, obviously going to do a nude since we have so much color on the eye today. So I'm going to be taking the Jordana Easy Liner in the shade Tawny. If you guys couldn't tell, this is my favorite nude. <laughs> taking NYX Lingerie in 04 over top. And that's it that I'm going to do for today's look. So I'm going to be taking a setting spray. I ran out of my Urban Decay All Nighter, so today I'm going to be use Elf Makeup and Mist. And that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I absolutely am in love with this palette. This is probably my new favorite palette. I can't wait to do more looks with it. And I hope everyone has a good week, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.